Okay, we'll start with a little bit of sad news. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk to us about it. Yeah, obviously, uh, lost a good friend in Steve Jagelka the other day. I got the message um, just before the, the MK Dons kick off, yeah, about 5 5.30, I think, my phone bleeped, and it was my friend Sam Easton, who lives in Shrewsbury now, would give me the, the sad news. So, yeah, gutted. Um, top bloke, lovely lad. We share the car school together, some great memories, some great drive-ins, um, and some great times together. And, you know, Winning games of football on the pitch, out of football, you know, he was a uh, he was a diamond of a kid, and he uh, was absolutely gutted, yeah, devastated. So, my condolences go out to him and his family, and God rest his soul. I'm sorry to hear it, but um, thanks for talking to us about it. Now on to the kind of football. I don't think you guys got back from from Milton Keynes until was it four o'clock yeah. on Wednesday morning. That kind of puts into perspective the the travelling that we've had to do the last week or so, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Um, again, but there's not much we can do about it, is it, Dan? We, we make sure we, we always give the lads a day off because you have to, and especially when they're getting back at four thirty in the morning and you know, emptying the bus and whatever else that comes with it, and after playing a game the way they did, and yeah, you know, we have to put a lot of recovery into them. Uh, we do it probably more than most because of where we are. <laughs> Uh, it's no excuse. We, we we do it with enjoyment. You know, we have fun on the bus coming home and, and going, and you know, especially when you're winning. Uh, but yeah, we just got to make sure that you know the recovery stuff and the recovery time is done properly, and that's certainly what it is. We give the lads a lie in on a Thursday. We'll take them down the, the beach today to do some stuff. We'll do some video work with them, and you know, we'll get them in the sea. So it's 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 all about mental stuff now, because the fitness levels are good. You know, we can't do too much with them anyway. It's all about putting stuff into the red for the, for the game Saturday against Bristol Rovers. So, yeah, um, it's a long jo- a long slog at times of where we've got to go and how we've got to get back, but it's part, part of the football. I was going to ask you about that kind of re- recovery and so on. Given where we're at in the season and, and, and the workloads they've had to go through, you kind of you, you're just working on what you've already drilled into the murder in the season now, aren't you? There's not yeah. lots of time. If you wanted to change something, you don't have a lot of ground time to do that now, anyway, do you? No, we don't. And there's not much to change, really. You know, we don't we don't change what we do. Our methods are the same. Our mess is the same. You know, we we, we want them to do what we ask them to do. And you know, they all know the the way we play. They all know the style. They all know what's expected. And um, so that doesn't change really. So I think you know, over the last week or so, we've been putting work into them, and it's all mental stuff, and on the video stuff, and and on the coach paint, which we use quite regularly now. And, you know, and again, the messages of, of, of what we do. Um, so the recovery is the most important at the moment, just to get make sure they've got recovery in them and they're fresh for the weekend. Because the food intake, the, the, the you know the drinks intake, everything about it has got to be spot on. And, and John Lucas makes sure that's right. Do you see a little bit of a kind of light at the end of the tunnel in terms of the fixture congestion? We have played Saturday, Tuesday for God knows how many weeks yeah. now. We play at home on Saturday, which must be a boost in itself. And then there's a week before your next game. And then we travel away again. Yeah, yeah. it's um, we we haven't. Yeah, we're supposed to normally be two two away games, two home games in it. We seem like we've been away for a while. Um, we've played four of the last five away, I think. Yeah, and they're always tough. Aren't they going away from home? Tough. Uh, you know, we've we've been decent at home, and we want to continue that. Um, but in terms of you know, we'll have a week next week to work with the players. But again, even that, you know, you've got to keep the freshness with them. So you know, we've got to make sure we look after them in the right way. But it'd be nice to have that breathing space because you know you can you can put things to fruition on the training ground and of what you want to work on, uh, and we're the same. We'll keep doing that. Yeah, so it'd be nice for the lads to get a bit of a breather from Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. But ultimately, we've got a, a, a big game to play on Saturday. You spoke a lot about uh, on Tuesday about the kind of the spirit and the togetherness and how you saw the desire and the players showed you clearly that what it meant to them on Tuesday, just a little bit hard done by in the end. Is, is the message just to kind of get back out there, go again, yeah. it, it'll turn? Yeah, of course, we, we, we know that. We've been in these situations before. And again, if it was lack of performances, I'd understand, but it's not. It's lack of results at the moment that's costing us. Uh, creating chances, yeah, we'd like to keep the back door shut more. But in terms of how we go about our business, the same. Um, and, uh, and as you know, when you keep doing the right things, it, it always comes good. Whether that's a little bit of luck we might have needed on Tuesday night with the referee not giving a penalty, and you know, if he doesn't give that, we get a point. And, but what we've got to do is got to keep believing what we're doing. We have to stick together, do the right things. We've got ten games to play, uh, and you know I'm sure we'll win.
a lot of them games I'm open. Um, you know, we've got to turn this bad run of results into, into a good run of results of winning games. And that's certainly the aim that. But, you know, when I see the lads coming off the pitch disappointed on, on Tuesday and, and there was a lot of um, disappointments in there, not because of the performance, not because of the goals conceded, it was more because of a decision that was made that cost them a point. Um, so hopefully we can turn that round and, and that can go in our favour for Saturday. Is it sort of, uh, I know it's sort of a perverse thing to say, but it, does it please you as a manager to see that reaction from them and show you how much you know, they're hurting off? Yeah, because they like care, that? don't they? You know, we, we, we've done that ourselves, me and Shui, over the years when we were playing and the disappointments. and you know, They've got to take that disappointment and use it as, not anger, but they've got to use it as a motivation. So, you know what, that cost us that. Let's kick on again. Let's not make the same whether it's a mistake or let's not give the referee an option or a, a chance to give a penalty or a free kick and you know but I see the desire in the boys yet yeah, the results have not gone great over the last two two weeks but the performances have been okay Dan yeah, as you well know and what we've got to do is got to keep believing keep keep performing the way we can and as you've seen before you know we're, we're expecting it to turn very quickly. Bristol Rovers on Saturday um, obviously a manager you know very well they've had a lot of change since since we last played them up there what are you expecting from that game? Oh, I'm expecting a tough game uh, and I want Joe the, the climb the table they need points um, do I believe they can get out the situation they're in yeah 100% with Joe and the staff but hopefully after Saturday uh, because he's looking to come and take points off me and I'm looking to take points off him the, the friendship goes to one side in 92, 93, 94 minutes and Oh, respect that, he'll respect that, so will I. Um, but they're going to be a different animal than what he was when we played them last time. Um, in terms of last time, I think we had more chances and more shots on goals than, than probably we did most of the season. Uh, Keeper kept them in it quite a bit. And we can see the three sloppy goals. So, you know, we're, we're different from then. Uh, we've changed a little bit. Uh, we've got more desire and more commitment in us. And you know, we want to bring that to the party on Saturday afternoon too. It is a, a local derby for us anyway. Um, and, and the fans can't be there. It would have been a tremendous atmosphere. I know it's, I know it's, um, it's not the same without them. But our home form has been very good. Do you see it as an advantage being at home on Saturday? Yeah, of course it will be an advantage to us that we're at home. We don't have to travel 300, 400, 500 miles away in that way. But look, what, what we've got to do, we've got to respect Bristol Rovers because they ain't coming here just to roll over. They're coming here to put up a fight and get points. But so are we, um, and that's what we've got to look at. We've got to worry about ourselves. Would, would there have been nice the fans have been here? Yeah, 100%. There would be about 15,000, I would have thought. You know, they'd have brought a, a right few and we'd have had our screaming and shouting for us. So, uh, disapp- that, that's not that's not going to be the case. <coughs> but we've had to deal with that all season and we've done. Um, so, hopefully, we can get back to, to winning ways on Saturday afternoon. I wish you well. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.